if they gave Donnie Yen a lightsaber, he would have single-handedly took control of the situation in Rogue One and survived. All right, so, like if if they gave him a lightsaber, he would probably would have gotten out alive because he's a badass. Nope. Instead, they made him a blind dude. You know, he's Asian, so he's basically has terrible vision already. Walks down. Oh, I'm the false, the false with me, right? With his stupid staff, ends up and, and, and ends up dying, right? So okay, okay, sure, whatever. Donnie Yen, it's sort of like a wasted opportunity to have him in Star Wars, and you get rid of him, right? Second, the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi brought in Kelly Marie Tran. I have no qualms with Kelly Marie Tran. I just, I just think her character is terribly written, right? Rose Tico is just really, really awful. Of course, leave it to Disney to put in the stereotypes of having a bad Asian driver, right? Finn was going to go out with a bang. He was going to run his ass, doing whatever he can to save everyone that's left, including Princess Leia, who's in the dank cave in the back, right? He's like, I'm OK, it is what it is. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to run the speeder bike, whatever it is. Into these uh, giant, uh, you no know, crazy like uh, Uber AT80s, right? And then you hit, ah! and then you hit the fucking Rose Tico, Asian, bad, terrible, stereotype Asian driver runs into him, and she goes, "Ah, oh, so sorry, so sorry," and he's like, "What are you doing, bitch?" He's like, "I try to save you. I try to save you." Oh, you don't like picking, you don't like being safe? And he's like, what? what? And he's like, oh, because, you know, I love you. And then the worst kiss in the entire Star Wars franchise happens on screen. Next, you have Soul. You know, the guy learned English for Star Wars, Disney Star Wars. He learned English. He was like, cool. I was in Squid Games and now I'm in Star Wars games. And then they they make him sort of like a predator, like a sexual predator. Oh, Osha. Osha meant to be my Padawan. I'm like, okay, sure. You don't even know her. I have a feeling she's going to be my Padawan. I'm like, Oh my god, dude. Yes, I get it. Move on. Right? And then they bring in Lu uh, Darth Lumpia. Darth Lumpia is probably the best written Asian character in Star Wars. In Disney Star Wars history. Right? Uh, he has a decent background. You find out at the end of uh, uh, you know, the season finale of Acolyte that Venestra, uh, fucking uh, Captain Scissorface uh, Scissor Me Timbers, Green Ball Lady, is actually the master to, um, to, uh, Quimir, or, uh, you know, whatever, Darth Lumpia, whatever is his face, uh, whatever, how you say his name, right? Um, he has, like, scars on his back, he, sh because Venestra has, like, a lightsaber whip, right? Yeah, he has, she, she has a lightsaber whip, so she probably whipped the shit out of him, and, um, you know, I had a terrible master. You know, I used to be a Jedi, yada, yada, yada. He has a decent backstory. I feel like he is the best written Asian character. And then you're like, okay. And then episode eight completely ruins Soul's character, right? Osha, man, you guys are supposed to be one person. All right. Uh, I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you. And then they ruin his character. Of course, uh, Osha learns how to force choke and i guess in the you know timeline wise this is the first time force choke has ever been used and you see it firsthand right osha able to get was able to use the force choke force chokes soul and then he goes uh, uh, do it harder it feels good yeah oh i'm edging i'm edging ah dies to death Venestra shows up later. She lands on the planet. Uh, Darth Lumpia. Uh, 
has his helmet removed, so Venestra senses <gasps> my Padawan, my underling, my understudy is here. So that's when you sort of find out. She walks to Sol, and then uh, Project Lumpia, what's that, what's it called? Because he's part of Project Agro anyways. Um, Darth Lumpia basically stares at her while she, she sort of like, it's like whispering in Sol's dead body or like sucking his dick or something like that. I'm not sure what, what's happening. And you find out at the end of the episode that um, Darth Lumpia Jedi mind a uh, mind tricks and erases May's memory. She gets brought back to uh, Croissant, Coruscant, uh, basically under um, you know under arrest, and just, and she and you know Vanessa sort of like interrogates her, and it's like, what do you know? Who are you? What's the last thing you remember? Yada yada yada, right? And it's like, okay, it looks like your memory is of back when you were like ten years old, and. She was like, Master Soul was the one who did this to you. Master Soul is the main reason why everything is fucked up. It's not me, it's him. He's a piece of shit and completely ruins his character. Completely ruins whatever like good Soul had, whatever intention Soul had was completely ruined by green lesbian bald lady. Green, lesbian, master tripping, scissoring, scissor me timbers, bald lady Jedi ruins an, an Asian man's reputation. And that's how, you know, that's how everyone will remember Saul. Right? May will forever remember that Master Saul, who actually tried to save her and her sister was thinking that he was doing the best he can was an actual piece of shit. That is Disney Star Wars for you, right? Let's not talk about, you know, all the other movies, right? Let's just talk about Acolyte. That, this is really, really bad. Now, if you're also factoring in all the other Asian characters, Darth Lumpia is the only one that has like a decent backstory, right? He's still alive by the, uh, by the end of episode eight. So, yeah, uh, Disney, Star Wars, and Disney himself, and Lucasfilm, current Lucasfilm that's run by Kathleen Kennedy, they don't give a shit about Asian people. If they did, they wouldn't have done so dirty like that, right? They wouldn't have done that to him, right? You pluck them out. Well, here's the thing. He has to go back and do something for, um... I'm assuming Squid Games anyways. I'm not sure. I didn't watch Squid Games, but yeah. Uh, many, many other reasons why uh, Star Wars is a dead franchise now, right? 1977 to 2012. That's how long Star Wars lived. Anything after 2012 became Disney Star Wars and it sucked ass. 